hello there awesome developers welcome back to easy code snippets and in this video we are going to discuss about data types in javascript but before diving deep into this topic let us understand why do we need data types so when working in the javascript world we need to deal with data the data can be of any type it can be marks of a student for that you will need to store those marks in an array we might need to store total price of a cart of a user in that case we would be using number you cannot say total price equals to true which is boolean so in order to store data efficiently we need data types so now let us discuss what all data types javascript gives us so the first one is primitive data type we'll first learn what are the types of data how are they classified into primitive and non primitive so let us see what data we have in the primitive data types so the first one is string we'll discuss each of them separately in detail but now for as of now let us take a quick quick overview of primitive and non primitive data type so the second one is number we have null and undefined and then we have boolean the second type of data type is non primitive data type in this we have arrays and objects okay so this is the primitive and non primitive data type now let us discuss each of them one by one so first let us discuss a string so a string is denoted using quotes you can use double quotes single quotes or back tags like this when using strings in your programs the second data type is number you can use without the number is used without using the quotes so if you are writing uh, any variable without using quotes and it has a number that it means that you are using the number data type also you can use floating or decimal point which is also a number data type in javascript then we have null so null is a data type which has an absence of value which is done intentionally we'll discuss more about it later in the upcoming videos as of now just think of it as any absence of value in your data type then we have undefined so let's say you have declared a variable in your program but you have not initialized it with any value so in that case the type of the value is undefined we'll see how undefined helps us in our program in the later videos now we have boolean so boolean is either true or false so let's say you want to write in your program that you are building a weather application and you need to show that it is raining so if it is raining you can if it is raining uh, the raining is true you can show certain items to the user so here you can use boolean to determine if certain condition is true or not so then we have array so array is like a list of data where you can store certain items they can be either strings you can also use numbers over here you can also add boolean to this particular list so here you can see we have a list of books bread and watch then we have object so an object is written inside curly brackets so an object is a key value pair so here you can see i have made a user info object which contains name as key and its value is this name anuj then we have another property called age so the age is the key and it has a value of 24 so we'll discuss all this in our code editor so i hope you got on a basic overview of data types in javascript now let us move to our code editor let us start with the practical of data types so the first data type that we are going to discuss is strings so let me t tell you the first way to make a string in javascript so let's say i have a fruits name i will use the double quotes okay so to make the string i will write apple and let me log it to the console fruits name here we get apple so you can make a string using the double quotes also you can use single quotes to make the string but actually i have installed prettier so if i save the file it will convert the single string to the double string itself let me show you so let's say i am using single quotes here so if i save it uh, it gets converted to double string so no worries we can check this out in the console itself so let me 
make fruits name let's say mango okay let me use single quotes mango and if i do a console dot log of fruits name okay the fruits name has been already de declared in this file so i let me keep it fruit name and now let me save it so here we go here we got okay we got apple okay i am logging fruits name so let me mistake let me correct it fruit name and now we can see mango so you can write your string data types in single quotes as well now let me introduce you to the third way of writing strings you can use backticks backticks were introduced in es6 so you will find backticks on the top left or your of your keyboard so you can press them press the to, uh, button below the escape key and here you get the backticks inside them you can write any string you want so yeah here i have written uh, apple in backticks let me use another fruit name here you can see we got cherry yeah so this was the uh, this was the string data type we can also check their type i can write type of type of is a operator that basically determines the type of the variable you are using the type of the data it has so i want to check for fruits name so here you got a string data type right so yeah you can use type of to check the data type you are using now let us see numbers let me quickly declare a number mark equals to let's say 43 and let me log it to the console okay so we have 43 and let me quickly check the type of it yeah we got 43 as a number also instead of this 43 we can write 43.444 it is also a number data type you can see over here okay so now let us discuss null and undefined so null so here i got a variable user age so let's say so null is basically a value that is provided intentionally so you will see the use of it in web development later or i will teach you the use cases of it in the further videos but as of now just understand it that it is a uh, data type that is provided intentionally so when you don't have any value you provide a null instead of that let me log it to the console user h so here you can see we got, we got null and let us check the uh, data type of null So null has the uh, data type of object okay so yeah now let us discuss about undefined so undefined is basically a value which in which when you declare a variable in your program but you do not assign a value to it so let me show you let user marks and if I try to log it to the console, I get undefined because we have not provided any value over here. Okay, so undefined is also can be used in certain areas when you uh, do website development or when we will see uh, the more use cases of undefined in our further videos. As of now, understand it that when you have not provided any value to your variables, that would result in undefined. Then we have boolean. So boolean is either true or false. Let me declare a variable. Let's say, is it raining? Uh, yes. 
and if I log it to the console so you get true yes it is raining also if I do it false we will get false now let us check the type we get the type of uh, is raining as boolean also for true you can check it out we got boolean so true and false are boolean data types now let us check arrays so arrays is basically used to store list of data so let's say I want a grocery list let's say cart so whenever you add items to your cart you might have like visited flipkart amazon so there when you add items to the cart your all these carts are, are, are added into a list of array so let's say you added an iphone or let's say you added a book and you added a watch so all these are inside an array so this array basically has a, a string data types but the main data type of this cart is array as of now you can like you can store numbers also inside this this won't have any issue but currently we are storing cart so to be very generic and relatable to the cart items i am using strings so let me log it to the console Here you can see we have an array of three items iPhone, book, and watch. Okay, so if you write the type of okay. let me copy it and let us check it now. Type of card you will get object. So for undefined also and for arrays also, we got the object type as we got the data type as object. So this might be confusing you that why array has a type of object and we'll discuss this in the next video. Okay, so now you have, you have seen how to declare an array data type. Now let us see what an object is. So an object as you watch in the initial um, of the uh, this video, we I told you that an object is made using the curly brackets like this and inside this object we have properties so let's say I have a username okay so this is a property and it has a key as username and the value of this that key is a node also you can pass another key and the age is 34 so now let us log this data type we have user info so here you can see we got an object with two properties username and anuj username is a key anuj is the value age is the key and value is 34 so this is the uh, object data type so in this video we discuss about all the data types what are the types of data types we have primitive and non primitive so in the next video we'll discuss about comments in javascript and also we'll discuss why we got this object so if you like this video please do hit the like button and subscribe the channel